All right, let's continue on here with our next lab. This one contains a cross-site scripting vulnerability in the submit feedback page. It's using the jQuery library selector function to find an anchor element and then changes the href attribute using data from location.search. Let's take a look at this. In 005, we talked about why certain programmers might elect to use libraries for certain functionality. In this case, it looks like the developers of this blog use jQuery library to help them write the website. Also, you have to forgive me on this congratulations, you solved the lab banner already, even though we haven't solved the lab yet. I had to run through this once more just before recording because I had forgotten how I did it before. So they told us that the functionality was in the submit feedback page. Let's take a look at that. This looks pretty standard, and we might try to inject some stuff into this submit feedback form, but I don't think that's going to work. Traditionally, when you inject script into a search tag, it works because the search tag reflects your search terms back onto the web page, right? It displays something like, here's the results for your search term. In the case of a submit feedback, however, I don't think it's going to do that. I don't think it's ever going to like show us what we submitted as feedback. One thing though that is interesting to me is this return path up here. This is actually a way for the website to remember where you came from to get to the submit feedback page. And so that once you submit feedback and click back, it'll take you to that spot. In this case, this is an absolute path to the site directory. So just this slash means that you're gonna go to the original home page. Let's quickly see how this works. So pretty generic, this probably doesn't actually do anything. Um, just trying to show us that it looks like a submit feedback page. And if we click back, then we go back to the home page, just as we suspected. You can see if we come to this page from a post, our return path is post instead of the actual home page. However, I don't see a post ID here, so I'm pretty sure this would throw an error if we tried to use this. Yep, sure enough, this is not correctly written. <laughs> Now I've inputted the actual address of a real post as our return path. Let's see if this fixes that. Sure enough, it does. So that's the way you would want to actually implement that. Anyway, enough lollygagging. Let's see how we can manipulate this form. Here we go. So we see that we inserted hello world into the return path, and then it shows up here in this href tag, which controls the back button. You might think we just try to inject script tags here, but that's not actually how we're going to try to do this. First of all, in HTML, this A is an anchor tag, and this href is a hypertext reference. It's a link, basically. We cannot just inject script tags here, but there are other ways to run JavaScript in an anchor tag that are valid for certain websites. While we're on the subject, let's actually look at the vulnerable functionality that goes into this. This is the jQuery function. This is the library that they're using to get this. Basically what this function from jQuery is doing is looking for backlink which is an attribute right here. You can see the ID backlink, the href tag, which is this, and then it's inserting into that the return path from URL search params. So basically it's taking this URL search param, it's getting the return path equals part, and then it's putting that in this backlink attribute href, which is right here, backlink href, right here. This is vulnerable because a user can manipulate this return path up here in the URL, and then it becomes part of the HTML of the page. To go ahead and solve this, I'm gonna to have to show you another way of running JavaScript in a web page like this. Boom, let's see if this works. Well, you can see we've got our JavaScript here. What happens when we click the back button? There you go, that's all it takes. And this time, even though that banner was there the whole time, we've solved the lab for real.